Governor Charlie Baker thanked manufacturers who have stepped up during the pandemic to bring supplies to first responders. One of them, a former upholstery factory, now able to make hospital gowns. Boston 25 News reporter Bob Ward shows us how it all began with one machine. This whole factory machine in Franklin has stood idle for four years, ever since this whole factory went out of business. But this machine could soon be roaring back to life for the fight against coronavirus. For more than a century, the Clark Cutler McDermott factory stood in the center of Franklin, most recently producing upholstery for the auto industry. But in 2016, the factory shut down. Now, four years later, this old die cutter machine, disconnected but still operable, could soon be back at work, this time producing PPE, specifically gowns for hospital staff and first responders. This has all come together in exactly in the last 10 days. Franklin Town Council Chair Thomas Mercer tells me a former Clark Cutler McDermott engineer who now lives in Michigan remembered this machine's capabilities and reached out with an idea to use the machine to help make PPE medical gowns. And the numbers suggest this one machine can make a lot of gowns. Once this is up and running, they think they can produce uh, 100,000 a week. Within days of that call, the out-of-state partners met with Mercer and State Representative Jeffrey Roy at the Franklin plant to see for themselves the machine that could help save lives. Everybody we have reached out to in this process has been supportive and has said, okay, what do I need to do? So now this project is rapidly moving forward. The initial gowns would go to nearby Milford Hospital, where Representative Roy recently delivered rain ponchos because the supply of PPE gowns was so low. Hopefully getting this factory up uh, just 10 miles away, uh, we can uh, fulfill their need uh, for PPE and get those gowns uh, throughout uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. There are still some details that need to be worked out, but if everything falls into place, this machine could be up and running by next week. In Franklin, I'm Bob Ward, Boston 25 News. In Franklin, an old machine in a long closed factory is roaring back to life, producing life saving level four PPE gowns for hospitals and first responders. This is a story Boston 25 News reporter Bob Ward first brought to you about six weeks ago when the project was mostly just an idea. Now he shows us the machine up and running, and it could soon be producing 100,000 gowns a week. The last time, cutter number two, a die cutting machine at Franklin's now closed Clark Cutler McDermott factory was fired up. It produced upholstery for General Motors cars. Now this machine is roaring back to life, producing life-saving level four PPE gowns. All of this happening from idea to production, including the start of a brand new company in just weeks. It's a feeling of incredible pride. When the COVID-19 crisis hit, Franklin Town Council President Tom Mercer took a call from a former factory worker asking if the die cutting machines were still in the empty building. They were. A flurry of phone calls and meetings involving state officials and suppliers quickly led to these PPE gowns now coming off the die cutter. To be able to put this together, fast track it from virtually something as simple as a phone call is just an incredible, incredible sense of pride in our community. The new company behind this project is called Contolo, a Latin word meaning bring together. Franklin State Rep Jeff Roy tells me an urgent spirit of Yankee ingenuity in the middle of a pandemic is what brought this team together. Nobody was talking about PPE two months ago, and nobody was concerned that we had to get this stuff overseas. We now can make this. We know we can make it in Massachusetts. Massachusetts Senate President Karen Spilka says the PPE gowns this new company using old machines is producing will save lives. This is the story of hope and grabbing an opportunity and mass know-how and taking what had been closed down and older machinery and renovating it to meet a dire need of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The first full shift working these machines is scheduled to start on Monday and by the end of the week it's hoped that local Teamsters will start delivering these PPE gowns. In Franklin, Bob Ward, Boston 25 News.